Hi guys, so I'm gonna do a flower um, of life crystal grid for love and see what is coming up for love in the crystal grid, crystalline grid for love, and then do a manifestation for that. So let's see what we have here coming up in the crystal grid for love. Queen of Water, Emotions, Kindness, wow, okay, crossing the energy, we have sort of like a hostility. What do we have here underlying, coming up in the crystal grid? Confusion. Waiting, surrendering. Wow. So I got here a five of wands. There's a real competitive energy here. It will get better with the ace of wands. What is the ace of wands? Okay, the lovers and the six of coin. Somebody is going to reach out to you. There is going to be positive energy, love, and a healing here. Um, Nine of Wands is on the bottom. This is Wounded Warrior. This feels like I'm, protect I'm protecting myself from this conflict. The Queen of Water is following your intuition, being very compassionate and loving and caring. It is going to pay off for you here. Okay, so it is going to pay off. Love, the blessing comes in. Your fear is the moon. The fear of what you can't see. Fear of deception, all that. Wow, you get a knight of cups. A loving offer or some kind gesture. And the world card. Okay, you achieve great success. Things wind up being very good out of this situation. What is the five of wands here? Okay, nine of coin. A life of luxury, independent, having money in the bank. What is two of swords? What's confusing here for love? For this crystal grid reading. What is confusing? Magician, manipulation, secrets or following your intuition. What is the Ace of Wands? Okay, Ace of Coin. There's a gift, there's an opportunity, there's an offer. What is the Lovers? Clarify the Lovers. The Lovers is a blessing or a choice. Queen of Wands, Aries energy is here. Very empowered. So this is a really good reading. Um, even if you are in this Three of Swords, Nine of Swords, Four of Swords, a lot of conflict surrounding a situation. Um, this thing, whatever this little scenario is, it will play out for the highest good with the world and the Knight of Cups. The Lovers is around you. Um, and your energy is like you're trying to balance, you're being generous and kind. Although you may not really know what to make of a situation, crossing the energy is a very entitled, sort of a negative energy. Okay, so let's see. The main energy I'm feeling right now is that there will be this offer, this Knight of Cups, this um, romantic gesture or of an apology or something like that. Next energy I'm feeling is Nine of Pentacles. Having a life that's comfortable, where you feel sufficient, you have enough money, you're, you know, your life is comfortable. You're not in a lack. Okay, so then 
next energy I'm feeling is that there will be some excitement surrounding something regarding a gift or some kind of donation or it doesn't have to be a donation. It shows the energy of the viewer as being generous and kind. Um, next energy I'm feeling, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling the generous, kind, balanced energy. It's very balanced. It's not like you're paying someone's whole rent for them, but maybe you're like, I don't know, you're doing something kind out of the kindness of your heart. Um, the other energy I'm feeling is actually a magician. I don't feel like it's manipulation. I feel like it's magical. It's, you know, making something happen, being resourceful, putting things together. Uh, okay, so what else do we have here? The Queen of Water is in the middle, a very compassionate and loving person. I'm going to put this rose quartz right here on here. So this is like stay in your loving energy, stay kind. No matter what is going on around you, try to like come back to your own energy um, and stay line, stay kind. I'm going to put this calcite on the world, which is a lot of success and optimal, um, optimal, I don't know why. <laughs> um an optimal outcome the outcome that would be the best case scenario is going to prevail in this situation so thank you for watching the crystal grid and take care